there are basically two types of online shoppers people who do their own research about products and buy stuff and people who have no idea about the specification of the product and solely rely on ratings and reviews of other people of the product before they make a decision to buy it our visualization aims to cater to the latter and works because of the following reasons we have a selection of comprehensive categories of products that are more focused than what you would find online we give you statistics extracted from people's reviews such as sentiment and ratings and consolidated for all products on a visualization rather than you tediously reading reviews to get an idea we do the heavy lifting for you we then let you filter the products by playing around with our simple filters while our visualization smoothly adapts you can also interact with our visualization by directly making mouse selections on it to zero in on a group of products and you would want to buy you then simply click on the product and read more info such as how it looks and where it is where its individual statistics lie from there you are shown the way to go buy the product online so now coming to the downsides of online shopping so majority of people depend on ratings and reviews to buy a product online and most of the time ratings can be misleading for example an apple user might rate the apple earpods really high like probably give it a 5 rating whereas somebody like me who is an audiophile may rate it really low because i may not find its quality quality to be really good and also when it comes to reading reviews for products is really time consuming so going to reviews for a particular product can bog you down and leave you more confused than before so why do you need our application so in our application we amalgamate uh, ratings and reviews in one uh, at one point so you can go and get a good idea about the product uh, we then pair ratings with sentiment so that the pairing the rating becomes more credible and uh, instead of you reading all the reviews we pick out the prominent words in the reviews so you get a good idea about what the reviews are trying to say so before we built a visualization we had to do a little bit of uh, data mining so we dropped unnecessary data from the amazon fashion data set because we realized that some of them had incomplete data and uh, most of the amazon products didn't exist anymore so we took only data which was available post 2018 and later we do found out that the images provided by the data set were of really low quality so we then later scraped the amazon website for all the uh, images to get good crisp high quality images then we also need to scrape for categories because uh, the categories provided for the product in the data set were not broad enough for example for jewelry we had categories such as rings gold chains etc we wanted a broad category so we had to go ahead and scrape the website again to make sure we had a broad category of products under just jewelry and not have specific categories as it was hard to differentiate products then finally we used a sentiment based classifier from stanford we call it called the stanford core nlp parser to which we got the sentiment score for each of the reviews and later we consolidated the sentiment score for each product and stored it in our database we also then aggregated all the ratings for each of the product and also stored in database so and then taking all the data we had scraped mined and consolidated we put all into one big json file to feed into our visualization now coming to our visualization as you can see it is one simple single page visualization with a emphasis on simplicity so here we have four filters available to you as discussed before we have the sentiment based filtering where you have bent the sentiment value into four different classes as shown below basically a sentiment score of 1 1 to 2 to 2 to 3 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 similarly we also have a rating based filter which goes from 0 to 5 and then we also include a cost based filter for the cost conscious shopper and this filter dynamically gets its value from the data so right now the highest value you can buy for is 259 dollars and we also as promised we have broad categories of jewelry clothing etc and so having specific categories like rings and chains so the shopper can actually shop for jewelry and not go too specific into details and get more confused so coming to our visualization here we have a scatter plot so while we go for a scatter plot uh we felt it was the best visualization or plot we could get to kind of uh, 
isolate products as, as one particular entity and also get an idea about how they compare to other products. And um, on the x-axis of the plot, we have the average sentiment. And on the y-axis, we have the average rating. So now on interacting with our filters, for example, if I want only a products which have a, uh, let's just say, um, a medium high level sentiment based filter and our plot dynamically allocates the uh, products which are of this type of sentiment. Similarly, you can also play with our rating based filter where you can get the rating out to 3.5 or 3 and again, it adapts. And similarly, we have a cost based filter as well where you can adjust the cost for as low as $20 or $10 and you also have product here. And we also have categories. For example, you can choose to shop only jewelry in here, you I just have jewelry products. And also each of these filters work in tandem with each other. So you can play around with each of them. So show what our products fall in your category here as well. So now if you see our visualization as a whole, if you just see it, you may feel like it's really cluttered. So to get over this, we also have a zoom in feature on our scatter plot. So for example, if you just want to see products which have a sentiment between 3 and 3.5, an average rating between 4 and 5, you can just go ahead and you know select it like how you select icons on your desktop. And the plot will spread them out for you and dynamically allocate the access values for you. You can do this zoom how many times you want. We have multiple levels of zoom. And once you're happy, you can just reset the zoom. Now, if you point at each of the products, we have a tooltip. And the tooltip kind of gives you a uh, glance over what the product is, so basically what sentiment score is, what its rating is, and how much it would cost. And if you do want more uh, uh, information about the product, you just simply have to click on the button and then you have a modal which pops up for you. So here we have this modal where we have this image which we scraped from the internet, it's really crisp. And we have the, um, the product name, we also have um, the cost, and we also have the brand who sold it. And underneath here, we also have a word cloud, which kind of gives you a snapshot about what all the reviews are trying to say. And the word size is directly proportional to how many times it came uh, in the reviews. And again, we have used standard natural language processing to stem and bring down words to their base form so that we don't have unnecessary words repeating themselves one after the other. So, and then um, finally, if you want to buy the product, you can click on this link to go ahead and buy it on Amazon. It just loads in, you can go ahead and buy it. And also to adjust for people who have visual impairment, we made sure uh, our uh, color choice was more contrasty for people to differentiate between the background and the foreground. So that's all our visualization is, thank you.